ninth installment. In this one here, I'm going to be showing you is 12 tricks that you can do for the love of St. Patrick and to share that love and light. Where? In my place. I'll see you inside there. And here I stand before you to give us our trick number one. That is the magic Celtic frog pitcher magic trick. This is what this will look like. Okay, so here at our tricks table, here you can see it says um, Celtic frog like a, 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 here you guys can take a little look in the, in the inside of this I'm gonna actually just go in on this I'm gonna just take out something out of this watch by magic I pull out some Celtic jewelry from the frog like teacup you see this right here how is this one done as is about to reveal this Celtic secret to you right now all you will be needing is this Celtic like frog like teacup you see this right here it actually looks and the color of a true Celtic one you see this right here that you will be needing is the jewelry of it. And that is what you'll see here. It is like a Celtic like cross, you see right here? And it has uh, what appears to be is yeah, some gems in the crosses that you see just right here. What you want to do is gonna put this into your pocket of your pants. Like this. Put it right into here. Like that. That way it starts off in the pocket first. Then what you're going to do is take the, the little teacup like frog like one here, you see this here, because actually it actually looks like there are right colors and a texture of a frog. That's why. I, I call it that. So what I'm going to do is have I want to take a look at the inside. It's completely empty, as you can see. Add a slat. You're gonna go into your pocket here like this, and grab the jewelry like this in your fist. Be natural about it. As then you go in like this. I'm gonna simply just drop this in. Like this. And then after it's done, you just pull it out like this. And it gives you jewelry from a Celtic frog like a teacup, you see? Just see here. makes a really cool one that you can do there if he uh, brings the uh, um, Celt the Celtic colors as well as the jewelry of it as well too then we're gonna get down to our Celtic trick number two and that is the magic Celtic jump gem frog cups magic trick here's what this will look like. Watch this first. We'll change it into it. So I have my hand over it. Watch. Magically, it changes into a frog, gem, and two cups. <laughs> guys, come and take a look. Okay, so here I got this very interesting looking frog here. Guys, can take a look at the frog. Uh, here I got my nice green gem 
And then I got another set of greens here, but these are actually green cups with um, Celtic like markings on it. You guys can take a look at that. What I'm going to do is going to create magic with these. Okay, what we're going to do is I'm going to place one in like let's say this. Okay, I'm going to use the the other one here. I'm going to make the uh, jump with what? The frog. Okay, so the frog onto here, right? And if I move that frog, I wonder what will happen. So I move the frog like this. Make a leap. Okay, so the frog just leaped right to this one. What did that do to the gem under this cup? Watch. Whoa. We gotta go. Well, the frog leaped over here. Look. Whoa. And by the leap of the frog, the gem ends up under this one. How is this one done? As is about to reveal, this Celtic secret to you right now, this one here is ex extreme Celtic, so Celtic magic trick. And that is, you'll need is a green gem, a bigger one. And then you will be needing is this uh, Celtic like frog, you see right here. It is actually, it is an ornament frog, and it goes well with this. Then you will be needing is did you just see that door? I think the uh, spirit is so, so big in here that it decided to, to um, close or open the door. <laughs> Anyways, let's stay focused here. Okay, then you'll be needing is these cups. You see this right here. What's fun to do is gonna have these turned down like this first. Gem to one like this up front and the frog up to the other like that too. Could also do it that way or you could keep the cups together and the frog to go like this. And the gem right there. That way it looks pretty interesting this whole too. Okay, what you want to do is take that one gem and pick one a cup up like this. Play place it under. And you're gonna do is go over it like this. And then just simply move this away like this. Having a palmed like that. After that is done, place a frog on top of that one you see right here. Pick up the other one and transfer the gem into the other one right that is right here. Okay, they're thinking it's in this cup. All you gotta do is pick up the frog and have it to leap to the other one like this. So there gives leap frogs within this one. With your fingers, just tap onto the cup like this and make it completely vanish. After it is done, point at the frog hold the cup with the frog on and pick it up like this and by magic it jumps under this cup if i'm vanishing from one then by the frog it leaps and jumps to over here after it is done frog comes off and the cuts out just like this and that right there is how you do the Magic Celtic Jump Gem Frog Cups Magic Trick. What a gem? Have a good one. Coming down to our trick number three. This one here goes into a leprechaun statue and by the powers of the spirit being able to make it move. And that is the trick which I like to call the Magic Moving Leprechaun Statue Magic Trick. Here's that this will leprechaun like. Whoa, 
Okay, I did not see that, guys. Uh, I, this was not here before, and look what just happened. Disappeared. If I pick it up, I wonder what's... <sighs> Whoa. Leprechaun statue. Guys can take a look at this. We're gonna actually is this make this move by a spirit. Okay, so I'm gonna let the spirits take place. We're gonna hold my hand like this. Watch the lepre leprechaun. <gasps> Whoa! Come up close, so you guys can get to see that. It just moved it, this one. That's how powerful that was. It actually moved that one as well, too. Again. Wait. Whoa. The statue of the Epicon moved by the spirit. I was just this one done, as is about to reveal this moving secret to you right now. All you will be needing is an upcoming statue, a different one here. It has a hole in, the, in here. What you'll be needing is a retractable keychain, like this small or this size. You see, just here. This is what's allowing it to move. I'm going to st stretch it and hold onto it that way. It stops this by moving. Let your finger loose, and it starts to move the statue just like that. Here is a different view at it. Like this. I'll show you up close what I'm doing with my finger. You can hold it like that, and just let your finger loose very gently. Gently and carefully, and it starts to move just like that. What I want to do is get into um, a little bit of a meditation or something like that to go to go with this. That way, you get the spirits involved with this. Not just that, meditation is also another great thing that you can do as well too. Okay, anyways, I will show you the med the meditation like this. Or you can have your hands out. It's entirely up to you. Pull this. Like that. And because you're gonna hold this, you're gonna make sure that you just meditate with one hand like this. Head up. And it ends up doing that. All the way you can do, do, do that is like this. Close. And that right there is how you do the magic moving leprechaun statue magic trick. A very um in a very enchanted magic trick that you can do. Very simple and very easy to do. And there gets the leprechauns with that one as well too. Because in the spirit, there is light, and where there's light, there is star bright. Coming in down to our trip, number four is all about the light within this one. Goes into a Celtic ball candle. The trick was all like to call the disappearing Celtic ball candle magic trick. Here's what this will look like. But first, guys, can you take a look? We'll make this up here by the use of this. I just hold it just to here. We'll make it up here just to here. Watch this. Watch. I make it up here by this. Okay, what I'm going to do is we're going to put light on this candle. You guys can t take a look at the, ca the uh, candle. You guys can take a look at what is this upon. Let me go get um, a light started with this one. 
because what we need now is Love Sweet Love, as well as Select as old too. Now, let's apply light to this. How about I do it this way? Just to move my hand just like this? Watch. See, if the spirits are here. Are the spirits here? Whoa! Can you uh, flicker to the viewers out there for us? Can you? Wave? To my, my viewers out there? By candlelight? <gasps> wow! Okay, as is gonna actually make a vanish! And uh, who knows what, where you'll end up? Check, check in this out. It's gonna, gonna go like this. Watch. I'm gonna end up right here. As I pick this up here, move it over, it appears in my hand hold. That I hold right here. So how did I do that? Making this vanish and end up in my fingers just like that? It's easy about to reveal the secret. But first, let's dim the light so you guys can get to see the light. With this one, I'll bring it up close, and I'll dim the light so you guys can see the light, the light of faith, the light of peace, and the light of the world. Okay, with the in the background, the light, and I come in over here. What I'm going to do is um, um, go into prayer. And um, sing out light and angels over there. Got my praying hands together. Praying hands to you. Bring peace and comfort. Faith and hope. I light a candle. As well, too, with this. Now bring more light. Out there. To you. See it with St. Patrick's love. peace by light by angels I send to you Amen Love you Peace World love and world peace And now this is time I will reveal the secrets behind the vashing cultic ball candle Okay, more light the better as is the light just came on and you still get to see the flame of it. Okay, so here's what you're gonna need to make this happen. That is what you'll see right here. I'm gonna buzz out so I can show you how to light this. It's very simple to light one of these things. And that is what you'll see here. That is a green Celtic ball candle, you see just right here. Then you will be needing is a centerpiece out of wood. Of, of any, got a nice um, style on it. Then you will be needing is a fur pelt. You see, just a hair. That's all that you will, will need. You're gonna place the candle onto the centerpiece, just like this. You're going to, is by lighter, is give this a light. What you're going to do is under cover of the fur pelt, you're going to pick this up. But they won't know because the, the fur pelt is covering this. Also, but, but be very careful because you're in here, 
There's flame involved. So I'll come I'll come over here. Make sure that it is away like this. I'm gonna pick it up like this. Very carefully, like this. Move away. Put it into your hand, like this, and do that. Or you can simply, what I did, was hold it here, and then just with the front pelt, go like this. I make it up here that way too. It's entirely up to you on how to make this appear after from it completely vanishing. So over here it looks like this. Like that. And that right there is how you do the magic disappearing Celtic ball candle magic trick. There it brings the light and love with this one. And uh, of St. Patrick's love as well. Very same like, but yet very bright. Bright of the spirit. Bring us down to our trick number five. Here are our ninth and seventh. Coming up after this, after this will be our tenth and seventh, so please stay tuned for that. And the trick title, which I like to call the Magic St. Patrick Spell Book and Deck Magic Trick. Here's what this will look like. Okay, so here I got my um, St. St. Patrick card here, my Shimrock, and my book. And a deck of it right here. I want you guys to take a look inside the book. Okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to place this card here inside of the book. Like this. You guys can take a look. That is inside here. Okay. I'm going to is going to is put this card back into it again. Like this. Okay, so it's in that is in the book. I have my deck here, but we're gonna place the samurai onto it. Like this first. Wave over it. Then pick it up. And I'm gonna brush over the deck like this. But first, look. Where did the card go? It magically vanished. Let's take a look into my de my deck. Where did it end up? So how do I do this one? As is, I'm about to reveal the secrets. All you will be needing is a different kind of shamrock. Um, a three leaf one, you can see this right here. Then you'll need is the um, card deck. Here I'm just using the five crowns deck. And with the green, the uh, clubs as shamrocks. What you will be needing is a book. Not just any book, it is a picture book. This is what you'll see right here. You can dress it up any way you like, be a artistic, and put some stuff on it you see right here. I actually designed it, this, or this. Looks pretty nice too. Then you will be needing is craft sheet, green or orange. Why are you going to create a pocket for the card to go in the inside? That is going to be a side for now. And you'll need is two duplicates in this one. You see, just right here. I'm going to have one in the deck already. Like that. Just cut it in the deck and place the, the, uh, the uh, king, also known as St. Patrick, just right here. And um, put it on just like that. That is the setup right there. I'm going to hold. You know, some, 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 some rock with the card like this. Behind like that. What you're going to do is show the book completely empty. Like this. Place the card in 
and give it a close. Wave your, your hand, fingers over and tap it. It's still there. What it's going to do is when you, you close it again, you're going to actually put it in again, like right into the pocket like this. This is happening when the book is like this, closed, like that. I'm going to pick up the deck, Samurai on top, wave over the Samurai and tap it. Pick it up and move over the deck like this. Just done. Open the book and show the vanish. So you see, this is here. After it is done, go through the cards and find where it is in the deck and then pull it out with your thumb like this. I'm showing the drop main from the card that vanishes from the uh, spell book ends up in the deck you see just here. And that right there is how you do the Magic St. Patrick spell book and deck magic trick. Bring us down to our trick number six. And that is the Celtic Magic Fruit Bowl. Magic trick. Here's what this fruit bowl will look like. Okay, so here I got is um, two first like kiwis. You see, just here. You need to actually just place these in like this. Okay, so I just, I just put them in. I'm going to is use this interesting looking spoon here. You guys can take a look. I'm gonna go in like this. Ooh, got one. You see me put the other one in, and look. By magic, it turns into a different kind of fruit. How is this one done? As it is, I'm about to re re reveal. The secrets. All you will be needing is a true Celtic bowl. You see right here. I'll show you. Berries there, nice trim. Looks nice and green and rustic. You need an interesting looking spoon. You see right here. Wooden one. This is actually made out of wood. I think this is um, um, maple, I think. Or something like that. It could be. Older or something like that. Anyways, but what you'll need is three different kinds of, fr of fruits. One, a pear, and two, like, uh, like a kiwi fruit. You see, just here. These are here, are in the right size of one. What you want to do is going to keep the pear palmed into your hand like this and have the others out like this. Make sure the spoon here is out so they can see the spoon with the bowl. What you're going to do is place one in and drop this one like this. Like that. This go down like this as you put that one in. This now gets into your pocket at your side. After it's done, you can pick up your spoon Use that as a wand, or as a mixing spoon, like this. You're gonna mix, take it out, and take out the one, and then, by spoon, pick out the other one. By magic, the kiwi changes into a pear. You'll see this right here, like a, like a leprechaun. It leaps to the tricks table. And then, Dibby put these aside just like this. I like the leap of the leprechauns, it too magically vanishes off the tricks table. Wow, a lot of magic. You can definitely tell because things are starting to reappear and disappear, let alone being transferred into something completely different, as you've seen. Okay, but right there is how you do the Celtic Magic Fruit Ball Magic Trick. Bring us down to our trick number seven. That is the Magic Celtic 
wand sphere magic trick. This, this wand sphere will look like. Okay. Whoa, look what disappeared. Wow. By magic, this, uh, this ends up appearing as this. Here's my wand here. You guys can take a look at it. I'm going to actually just use this and wave over this sphere here. Watch. Get a little tap. I rest this upon here like this. Watch. Very, very, very carefully at this. Is that moving? Wow. Definitely for the spirit. How's this one done? As it is about to reveal the secret to you right now. All you'll need is a nice covet look, looking wand. You see just to here. Then you'll need is this nice green sphere. You see just to here that I'm holding. And a nice gold platter. They're gonna put this on just like this. Trick is very, very simple. Because all you're going to do is you're going to rest this on top here after laying it over and enchanting it. Find a good spot to balance it and all you gotta do is you're gonna simply blow on this. Make it move. Like this. I want me to be very discreet. Making no lip movement. Like this. Big exhale, big, big exhale. Strong release. Just like that. And by magic, making the wand move on the green sphere that you'll see just here. Makes a really cool occultic magic trick that you can do. Very simple and very easy to do. Then here we're gonna get down to our next trick. What comes after seven, but number eight. Trick eight, which the magic trick I like to call the magic Celtic spirit cloth go uh -uh, goblet magic trick. Here's what this will look like. Let's see if that will appear on the tricks table. Whoa! <laughs> that just appeared like in split seconds. As it is, there is a magic trick. Let's get to it right now. Where? Right there, where it just magically appeared right in front of me. Right in front of me, very eyes. Okay, so you guys can check, check out um, my goblet here. And I got this nice uh, gold scarf. Okay, what I'm going to do is have the goblet right here. So to rest it over like that. Okay, so it's right there. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this. Whoa! Magically it floats. Whoa. And by the spirit, it disappears and ends up um, floating the scarf and it rises up. How is this one done? This is but to reveal the secrets. All you need is a gold covering, you see it here, and a green goblet. You can see just here. 
has a nice Celtic looking face on it. The trick is very simple. I'm going to show you how to pull this off. This is what's happening under the covering. You're going to place the cover over like this. Lift up, it's still right there. Go to is uh, go with your thumb and tip it and cut it like this. Make sure that it is covered. Why? Okay, so we're gonna pick it up and make it rise like this. So it's gonna make sure it's at, in the middle and make it rise like this. Bring it over and then rise it up like this. That is what it's doing under the covering. So it'll look a little something like this. Like this. Be careful and, 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 and not to flash. Like this. Then place it back down. Then peel this away, just like that. Whoa! And just like that, it too magically vanishes. Wow, that must be very magical, let alone very legendary as it is. We'll get into the legendary stuff in this, in this one as well. It, as in our next installment, so please stay tuned for that. Get the legendaries involved with this one. And that right there is how you do the magic Celtic spirit cloth and goblet magic trick. Putting us down to our number nine. And that is the Celtic's magic tree book appearing leprechaun magic trick. This is what this will look like. Okay, so you can see you can see here that I got my my uh, Celtic book right there. Whoa, that one like th threw a port or something there. I don't know if you've seen that, guys, but there when, when I picked this up, it d did magic by itself. Like it actually did, went through a port or something like that. Wow, interesting. As this, let's make the leprechaun appear. Whoa, well, that was definitely something. I did not uh, suspect that did have happened. Anyways, guys, we just see this book here. Actually, just move this book again. Let's see what else we could do. Maybe make something appear. Watch. A whole this book. What? Whoa. Make a leprechaun up here. By the book. Wow, guys can can look the book. How is this one done? As is I'm about to reveal the secrets. All you'll be needing is a leprechaun. Here I actually made this one, guys. I have a craft figure. And then you'll need is this Celtic tree like book you see just in here is actually a Celtic tree. It even says so on the labeling. In the back right there it says Celtic tree. It looks just like this. Now it's gonna trim out on the spine of the book. What you'll need for th this is a mirror. And you see right here that you're going to is place the leprechaun in the back of it like this. Make sure that um, you um, get away from any viewing of other items or objects. So that way it stays like this. This goes in behind of it just like this. So the mirror is just a hair, and the leprechaun is just a hair. You can use the book for a covering to actually go over the mirror 
like this and pick it up. And we can get like this. Close. And move it away. Just like this. Whoopsies! Leaping leprechauns off the table there. And then pull up. Oh wow, with all that magic, it leaped again. Like this. Making it appear at the edge of the table. Drop this into a lappy kipple because this is glass. Like that. That way, you can pass the book around for inspection. And by magic, making the leprechaun appear just right here. Makes a great legendary magic trick that you can do. Very simple and very easy and very easy to do. Then we get down to our trick number 10, and that is the magic rising Celtic snake branch trick. And so this rising snake branch will look like. So here I got my um my nice snake branch. You guys can take a look, a look at it. Watch, we actually make it rise. Watch. Whoa. By magic, I make it to rise. So how did I do this with this? This is a book to reveal the secret. All you will be needing is a snake-like branch. This is what you see here. So here's the tail, right here. Here is the head. And this is like feet, a little bit like that, but these are like um, branch ends you see right here. A very Celtic looking branch. What you want to do is going to use this part here, the tail, to actually go up like this. But I want to be very, very slow, like this. Making it rise, just like that. So slow. Like this, gonna start off, off it, holding it into your hand like this, and then just go like that. By magic, making it rise. By magic, bring it down loosely and letting it fall back down your hand, just like that. And that way, there is how you do the magic rising snake branch magic trick. Bring us down to our trick number eleven. Here on our instrument nine, and that is the magic Celtic twig and feather magic trick. It is with this will feather like. Okay, so, so here I got my nice uh, twig here, guys. You can take a look at it. Okay, and here I got my feather. Okay, just to go and wave over like this. Wow, so we'll just have it to go here. Ooh, let's do it again. Wave over it this time. Actually, enchant it. Whoa, magically, it balances. On the stick. How is this one done? As is about to reveal the secrets. All you'll need is a twig, any twig. All you want to do is do some carving and get it like this, so that way it looks nice and and Celtic like. And you'll be needing is a feather, and you're going to, to assume it with a weight. This is actually a coin. That's been pa uh, painted with the uh, tips you see right here, and having um, a five cent on here and tape and paint to accordingly the right color of the feather. All you gotta do is wave over it, put it on like that, because of the weight on here and the lightness of this is going to um, have it to balance on the tip of the stick that you'll see. This way here. Just done. Move it around and have it on a stick like this. And that right there is what you do the magic Celtic twig and feather magic truck. Then we get down to our last one, to our twelfth one, that is a magic Celtic straw hat fruits 
magic trick. Here's what this will look like. Okay, so here I got my fruits. Guys, can take a look at the fruits. I'm gonna cover this over. I'm going to do this by a blindfold. Like this, I'm gonna hold it there. I'm going to just to pick any one of the fruits there. I'm going to say what it is. Okay, so here is I picked any random fruit. I don't know what it is. It is is it a pear? How's this done? I'll show you this is done right now. What you need is fruits hat and this. Make into a covering. Easy to see. Just go, go, go like this. And just with this, pick any ram fruit and call it.